welcome to my playhouse and today I'm in the creepy basement and uh, last year I did a video on my multimeters since there at least one of them has died but I still have my good multimeter it's a fluke 85 and as it is pretty normal with these flukes some of the display segments are not that good anymore if I can hold the camera very steady and point you can see some of these out here that are not very good it's like they're not fully led and I have appointed that error in my last video and I got some responses. So today I'm gonna see if I can fix that problem with my meter. Here is the meter and I'm gonna be starting by unplugging the, the leads. And I also just got a suggestion now that this meter was 23 years old to just get me a new one. But well, these were very expensive and they still are very expensive. And it's like, I paid this one with my pocket money when I was not very old and did not make very many money. Yeah, this is something that I, I saved up for. And I'm gonna be taking it apart. I turned it off. And I'm gonna unscrew these. It has this water tight seal around it, which also makes it rather difficult sometimes to take apart. There we are. The front cover. And I'll, I'll detach the battery so that otherwise it will be hanging and dangling. And we're gonna take this out. And let's see, this display case is supposed to come off, tapping out, there's like four taps there and there, and there and there, and just gently taking out the, the front panel here. seems that I have to take this cover off first. It seems that I have to take off this on the back. Put that there and we should be able to carefully remove the back cover. And it's, it's in there with a couple of plastic thingies. Oh yeah, and, and now I think it's a lot easier to remove the little tabs from the board without damaging as much. Hopefully not anything at all. And I just want to see if there's anything else. Now I have to remove, I'm going to take the display, uh, I think the display is on there rather well. The problem should be these zebra stripe thingies that is on here, that they become dirty. Um, so I found some some acetone and some some of these pins for cleaning your ears or ears or whatever needs cleaning 
and it should be good for cleaning the the board down here and the multimeter so I'm gonna be cleaning these stripes there and that should help so I'm gonna take a little bit of acetone and pull it in the in the lid I really don't need very much put the bottle away clean these connections very well yeah. it is actually a little dirty down here as well and there is some dirt I don't know if it's from all the wear on the board but let's just imagine that it's actually dirt that was on the connections And there is like these connections that are used for the buttons, so I'm just gonna clean those as well. No reason not to do that while we are at it. Very nice. display and oh, now it doesn't want to do it just before when I touched it it uh, lit up some segments mm, I'll probably have to be careful not to turn this around otherwise I'll have to take it all apart again but I would like to take off these zebra stripes there is one and there is the other one and I'll just clean out the, the connection on the display as well. Damn, I've already forgotten how it should be on the I think it's like this. Just, I'll just clean a little bit on these zebra stripes as well, just to make sure they're perfectly clean, like that, and be careful not to touch them with my greasy fingers. Put them back. Oops. So apparently we can put the display on at last. So that the zebra stripes will be on. And 
put the display on. And I'll just attach the battery to make sure that the display is not upside down. It's upside down. So I'll turn it around. Yeah, now at least it's in the right direction. Turning off the multimeter. Oh, this thing just goes around without the. Mm. There we are. Off. Put this protective thing on it again. So everything is back in its case, like that. Let's turn it on. Hmm. Looks fantastic. Very clear, just, yeah. Brand new, fixed. <laughs> back in the protective case like that back in with the leaves leads leaves leads back on its spot right there and the numbers are very much clearer I'll just have a very bad battery here that we can measure the voltage on that's not DC and it's very clear both that the display is clear and that this is a very bad battery <laughs> success it works cool my multimeter that is 23 years old is uh, as good as new at least the display is as good as new and I'm not worried anymore I was a bit worried when I was just putting on the display and it was all mumbo jumbo but now it's all good again cool thank you for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again have a really nice day Bye.